Welcome to Fabric Monday. Today we'll talk about using a configuration file and using the percent one in notebooks. What exactly is this about? Config file in percent one. It's about isolating literal values that we would usually insert in a notebook code in configuration files. We should avoid literal values inside execution code. So, we isolate these values in the, the configuration file and this will provide us a lot of benefits. We use the lake house as the file area. So we store it in the file area of the lake house. The percent one can execute another notebook. Why do we need to execute another notebook? Because if I only use a configuration file, I need to repeat the code of, to load the configuration file on every notebook. So instead of doing that, we can use the percent run and execute another notebook. So we centralize the code to load the configuration values in a single notebook. And then insert only the percent run in the notebooks which will need the configuration values. The execution made by the percent one is in the same session and same context as the source notebook using the percent one. In this way, the variables are shared. The variables of the code notebook and the source notebook are shared. In this way, we can just use the loaded config values. So we can have one notebook to load the configuration values for all other notebooks we use. For example, we use many notebooks and we can have one single notebook with the code to load the configuration values and all the other notebooks we will use percent one to call this load of config values and use these config values. And this also helps us on the evolution of environments, managing the life cycle of our solution, moving our solution from development, test, and production. In this example, you can see the three environments, three config files, but of course, the values on the config files are different. We have development values, test values, and production values. The notebook is on the development environment, and this notebook on the development environment is accessing the config file on the development environment. When the notebook moves to the test environment, it accesses the config file of the test environment. So it's accessing different configuration values which change the behavior of the notebook to act over the different values. And the same happens when we move the notebook to the production. It will read the config file of the production. This will happen because the notebook will be redirected to a different default lake house. This is something I already wrote about in, a, in blogs about notebooks and pipelines. Let's see a bit how it works. Here I have a lake house. On this lake house I have a configuration folder and a JSON config file inside this configuration folder. I have a notebook called load configuration intended to load this configuration in variables. So the notebook uses Spark read to read the configuration file on the default lake house and read each value from the JSON file in different variables. You can notice each value goes to a different variable. I even created an additional variable called the execution ID. On this variable, I created an ID for the execution of the notebook. There are some scenarios that may use this execution ID. In future blog posts, I'll talk about this. Then, we can just call the percent one using the name of the notebook, which will load the configuration. 
Both notebooks are in the same workspace, so I just need to point to the name of the other notebook. This will lower the configuration and then I have access to the variables because both notebooks are in the same context, they share their variables. The notebook which is being called using percent run will use the the notebook which has been called using percent run will use the same the full lake house as the main notebook the caller the the full lake house which will be used is this one the the one from the caller then i can execute this cell the first cell is executed this means the values are loaded and it advises that the, the full lake house of the caller is being used by the executed notebook. At this moment, I can execute the print and I'll see the values contained on the config file. According to these notebooks, both of them evolve from each environment, from development, test and production. They will change their the full lake house. And in this way, they will be loading different config files and will be adapting to new environments. This is a very useful tool to help on the control of the life cycle of the environment. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week.